Well, I wouldn't mind finding more games that I love. Although I already love too many games. Hey everyone, it is time. It is time. It is time. Cosmo Octopus is here. Uh, <laughs> it is finally here. Um, and this came out of nowhere. I knew that um, like um, everything was fulfilled in uh, in Europe here. So I knew it was on the way and would like arrive within the next one or two weeks. I knew that, but I never received a tracking link. So, well, today a package showed up and I didn't really expect anything except for Cosmo Octopus and maybe one or two review copies of games, but I knew that these would take a little bit to get here. So that's like the only thing that I really expected, um, but I didn't expect it because no tracking link. Long story short, it is here and I'm really happy. So let's unbox this. Oh, by the way, have I mentioned, I'm not only unboxing this today, but you will also take a look at a few goodies because, well, I was one of the first backers and like when you back like this project early, you could like get the plush and the pin and everything. So you will also take a look at that. Um, if you haven't seen my preview, I really highly suggest you go there and watch it because this is one of my, really, my, my most favorite new games that I've played. I just absolutely love this one. And yeah, um, watch my preview. I will definitely also like post a solo playthrough at some point. I don't know when I will get around to it, but I hope as soon as possible. All right, this is Cosmo Octopus. You can already see like, oh, nice. Like we have like this UV spot here. This is like really shiny here. This looks amazing and everything is like glowing and stuff. It's like amazing. It looks great. And you can see my camera in the reflection, uh, which I don't like too much usually. Well, and then here, um, this is a game by Henry Audubon where we are trying to please the great inky one, the Cosmo Octopus. Um, so let's take a look at the sides here. So here's the side and also here, UV spot, really cool as well here. So one to four players, um, 60 to 90 minutes and 14 plus is the age. And this is really cool, that's the thing I like. We have, we have different orientations on each side. That means no matter how you put it in your shelf, you will always be able to put it upright. That is great. I absolutely love this. And what I really like as well is um, I still have the prototype here um, and the prototype box is a lot larger. So I'm actually happy that this is quite, quite a handy box. It's not too large, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, nice. All right, so let's take a look at the back first. So, oh, even your V-spot back here. That is crazy. Okay, so welcome devotees. All right, so here we see like, um, actually how the game is kind of set up. Um, and also like most of the components, yeah, pretty much all of them. Um, it's really cool that you actually have like the private investigator here, which is like for solo and co-op play. I haven't played it co-op yet, so that's still something I need to try, but the solo mode works really well, but um, there was a one or two like tweaks made to it after that. And um, I even mentioned something in my video um, that there was like something that I would like to see changed. And I think it did get changed. So I hope, um, it, it did get changed because then um, I would actually like the solo mode even more. All right, so let's take a look um, at the game. Oh, the, the cover just looks great. This looks just amazing, wonderful. And here's the tentacle, nice, nice, nice. And oh, there is actually a little box here for the cards. Okay, let's get ahead of ourselves. Let's look at the rules first, where are the rules? Probably at the bottom. There we go. So, um, very nice as well. The rubble could have been larger, as you can see, but it's not. It's just a small book, just a little bit larger than my hand. So, um, really cool. You can just place it on the table much easier than like a large rule book. Um, long time viewers of my channel know that I like this. Um, we have a table of contents that is amazing. That is really great. So you can just take a look. Uh, let's see, how do you move Cosmo Octopus again? Oh yeah, I know. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we have the components here. The setup, of course, um, we do not have numbers, but we have letters that kind of show you like where everything is. You know, I appreciate that when the rules actually like, um, where like the text and the image are linked by um, by like numbers, or in this case, letters. Very cool. Um, okay. And then here we have taking a turn, three steps. I mean, I already know the rules since I've played the game already, but the rules look, uh, they have a better, they look better than the ones in the prototype, of course. Um, very cool. We have like these little info boxes here. That's pretty nice with like um, like small um, extra info, which I like a lot. And yeah, it's pretty well, um, pretty well broken up here, right? Uh, laid out. So that's pretty good. I like that everything's very clean. It's nice to have a white background and black 
uh, black lettering um, they could have also like made some other background to make it look nicer but then you also would not be able to read everything correctly so that is nice that is well done then here we have like the four different card types very well done with all these symbols here that is really good that's just like in the game itself like all these symbols um this game has a pretty good way of using symbols to explain everything this got down to eight getting tentacles yeah all very good and then here we have the private investigator um so how do you know whether it's like solo or um um cooperative i think it doesn't matter it's pretty much the same thing right um so how do we win again let me see and I, I don't quite remember i don't quite remember but then we have the game duration right so we, we can um uh, you can like also adjust the difficulty you have different like realm layouts which make the um game more difficult and int more interesting and also you can design your own EQ realms and that is something that i would like to see um if there is like will be like a community like uh, sharing more of these layouts i hope so that would be cool and then we have the cosmic bridge that's actually something i haven't played with yet but that is um i think that is a kind of a teleport kind of thing right um i think that's how it kind of works um pretty interesting because that means you can also like disconnect your realms you can like have two realms like here for example right and then like use this as a crossover which is pretty interesting yeah very interesting okay and then here we have like card qualifications and like an FAQ here and that is good but there is no like overview I hope there will be some player aids I think there will player aids I think but I have to check those out I'm really going to be excited for the tokens because I still had like the the um, 3d printed tokens in the prototype and now these are made from wood and these look already really good so let's take a look at the tentacles first you know like these are the tentacles that you need to collect to um, appease Cosmoctopus so here we have the centerpiece, that is the almighty Cosmoctopus, which is amazing. It's really large and chunky, looks really good. Um, that is just, um, that is like the Cosmoctopus, that's like um, what you use to move. Like you move Cosmoctopus on these different tiles in the realm, and then you do whatever action it says there. Um, but at the end, when you actually gather your eight tentacles, then you can put like Cosmoctopus in the middle, which looks really cool. And these tentacles, wow, look at this. These are much more chunky than in the prototype copy. These are he really big and nice detail here. These look great. These look and feel amazing. These are great. Wow. Wonderful. These are really cool. They have really outdone themselves with these tentacles here. And I think we have had like three different shapes. Is that right? Two or three different shapes. Yeah, we have this one here. And this one, oh, I think it's only two shapes. Yeah, like the curled one that is a little bit curled here, and the, this one. I think there was, I thought there were three shapes, but I guess only two. But I mean, that's fine. But really cool. These are great. These feel amazing. Yeah, much better than the prototype, of course. But um, that was like a stretch goal, I think, to make them even larger. And these are now really large and chunky. These feel really great. Um, then, because what? I just love that. I love that. Okay. And then here we have like all the tokens. Let's take a look at the tokens now and also the tray. So that also was a stretch goal and one that was reached quite late. Um, I was really like hoping, like I think it was like reached within the last few days. And I was really hoping that they would reach it. And they did. So we have now, oh, this is a little bit loose. Okay, that's something, um, I don't know, I might have to put a rubber band up, uh, around that. But this is like for the resource tokens. You can just put that tentacle it's great it's glorious it's just a tentacle right <laughs> you can put that like in the middle of the table and then you can put the resource in there and i would suggest we already do that we can just do that right now while we take a look at the resources here so um let's take a look at all of them so let me just put that a little bit aside here so we have a little bit more room like this and then we can do that all right great so let's start well let's start with ink first right so we have ink here that is like these ink bottles uh, made from wood and wow these look really nice this is like a really deep black and they feel great they kind of they feel a little bit no not quite they're a little bit less rough they but they kind of feel and look like the components um, um of parks which makes kind of sense it's a different it's not key master games it's, it's a different um, publishing company it's paper for games but it's the same designer henry audubon so 
really nice. And you see, we can put them in here and they fit really well. Wow, they fit pretty much exactly. That is pretty crazy, very cool. All right, and then we have the coins here, which are these golden ones or like these, yeah, a little bit like, looks kind of like a mustardy yellow. Um, really, they feel great. Yeah, they do have uh, they do have a finish. They're not as rough as other um, wooden tomes, for example, the ones in Cascadia or I think Parks as well. But these look really cool. I like them. They kind of feel like coins. And they have a nice size as well. They're large enough and chunky enough, but they're not too uh, like too small or too, too large. And they also fit in here quite well. All right. And then let's take a look at the whispers, which is like these red speech bubbles here. Um, there we go. Oh, these look great as well. That's a really nice shade of red. Oops. It looks a little bit darker on camera here. They are a little bit less dark, but still, these look really nice as well. These little speech bubbles here. Isn't that great? These are great. Okay, cool. And then we also have these stars. These are the ones you actually want to get because um, you need those for the constellations. And these constellations give you like the most points, like the most tentacles. This is actually not a point based game. You're just trying to get tentacles. And when you have eight, you win the game. So, oh, these feel great. These are also, this is all like produced really well, right? So I don't see any like anything that was like misproduced, so to speak, right? Um, it's like all like, it looks like amazing. Yeah, there's no, there's nothing faulty. I can see here. Wonderful. So that's really cool, isn't it? Like, and then you can just close it. We have the Cosmoctopus on here. And the only issue I have is that this is like loose, right? So, hmm. Yeah, this will fall off. So I probably will have to maybe secure it with rubber bands or I just cannot stand it up, but then still, right? I don't know yet. Um, I also need something to put these tentacles in maybe, but I mean, they're finally baggy for now. Okay, and then we have these tokens here. Um, these tokens are pretty cool because these are like the investigator tokens. Um, these you put like on the realms whenever the investigator is doing something. I think these are then realms you cannot use. And these are these cosmic bridges, right? For the little mini expansion in here that I haven't played with yet. Um, and this is cool because these are also like really nice chunky wooden tokens. This was an upgrade in the Kickstarter as well. Um, reach through stretch goals. So I don't know if this comes to retail. If it does, I don't know if it like has like these upgrades as well or if these are Kickstarter exclusives. I don't quite know, but it's cool. You have like these chunky wooden tokens to put in there instead of cardboard, right? It's not necessary, but it's kind of cool. Um, I'd be lying if I said I didn't, I didn't enjoy this. Okay, and then let's continue. Oh, of course, the most important component, right? Never forget this one here. Um, so never throw this away, but also do not eat it, please. Um, that's definitely not healthy. Um, also, stick around to the end of the unboxing. There's something I want to show you, something really cool. Um, okay, so let's take a look at these cards. Oh, and Terraria is going to be the next project from Paper Ford Games, and I'm really interested in that as well. So, um, yeah, if you want me to take a look at your prototype when it's ready, let me know. I will definitely feature that on my channel. Um, after Cosmoctopus, which is amazing, I definitely will. So the cards are going to be interesting because um, the cards were like the only thing the prototype I didn't like as much. And yes, they are much, much better here. All right. Because the cards in the prototype, they were like made from a material that kind of stuck. Where like the cards were kind of sticking to each other. And that's not the case anymore here, as you can see. Right? So these are now really nice. You can actually like really like spread them and stuff. So that is much better. Um, I'll keep that here to remind myself of... Uh, to check that out. I think I will be able to check that out at Spiel. Um, so I think I will do that. And here, oh nice, yeah, these cards. I mean, um, these cards are pretty much like pretty basic, right? Um, they don't have any finish. And um, so if you like play the game a lot and you shuffle the cards a lot, then you probably are better off sleeving them um, because they will show their wear. But Honestly, I like my games to look like great, like even after years of playing it. That's why I like pay great attention to like be careful with my games and also tell other people to be careful. <laughs> uh, but in this game, I think I wouldn't even mind like seeing the wear at some point because that's this kind of game, right? It's like this kind of mystic Cthulhu-esque kind of game and 
like if things aren't as clean that kind of fits the vibe you know what i'm saying so yeah so as i said this is the constellation cards here these are the ones you actually want to work towards because they um give you tentacles here um so yeah really cool very very nice and there's some like really really cool um names and also like really cool um fonts here some of them not all of them unfortunately but some of them are pretty cool um so these are the whisper cards here um ah, really great i just love the art style i like the all the all the font and the lettering here i really really enjoy that um and these are the ones you need the coins for the relic cards actually no these are not called whisper cards these are called hallucination cards so we have the constellations the hallucination cards and then here we have the relics um there is like this one relic i wanted to show you but i can't find it now but really really cool very nice um about these cards i know you but i will sleeve them maybe i will not i mean we do have like this little box here which i didn't know we would have actually um i kind of must have missed that in the campaign or maybe i just forgot i'm not sure um, and then here we have more cards. So let's see. We make games you'll love. Well, I wouldn't mind finding more games that I love. Although I already love too many games. But, well, I mean, progress, right? So let's see. And then here we have more of these relics. Yeah, for example, look at this. The perplexing army box. It's like this, like the wrong way, like uh, on its head, right? Or here, like the letter opener, there's like actually a line through letter opener, like when you actually open a letter, right? So that's pretty cool. Like prism, you see here, a few lines through there, right? Um, so that is pretty cool. Um, and then here, Atlas of the Branching Paths, we actually have like a few arrows here and stuff. That's pretty cool. And these are the scriptures here. But yeah, very cool. Okay, great. Ah, and then here we have the investigator cards. These are then important to, um, to actually see the... Um, uh, to to play to play the uh, investigator, and here are the reference cards. I knew there were the reference cards. So here um, we have like what you do during your turn. Here you have like um, what the uh, main um, resources and card types are, and on the back you have like the explanation of the of the different um, of the different symbols. And there seem to be well, there seems to be some asymmetry here actually. You see, starting hand, and these are three different starting hands. That is something new. That is something that I haven't known so far. So that is interesting. Okay, cool. Um, these don't quite fit. They kind of go over the edge here, but um, that is okay for now. I would have to see later how I will actually uh, work on all of that. But there's uh, still the tiles and stuff. So here we have um, just a sticker sheet. Um, I will leave that in the box for now. That was also part of the Kickstarter. Look at these Cosmo Octopus. Um, yeah, I might actually use these stickers because these are pretty cool. Very, very cool. This is going to be the highlight. I will show you later why. Um, so, and here we have like the story. This is pretty cool. This is just something you can just hand out um, to the players around the table while you're setting up the game. And then somebody can maybe read that out, right? That's really cool. And then also we have another icon guide here. So you can leave that on the table, but everybody has their own card. But if they want to like look at it in, in a larger way, there are some more explanations here. That's pretty, pretty cool. So we actually have like two player aids, right? One for each player and then one for, um, and then one for the, uh, one for the entire table. And here, look at this, really cool. Also again, like a UV print and you see like um, a really cool design inside of the box. Very, very nice. Okay, so, and then here we have the tiles. So these tiles are pretty thick, They're, they are sturdy. Yeah, these, these feel pretty good. Nice. Um, and these are like the different um, realm tiles here. And then also like we have like these extra tentacles you can get if you have like um, a specific number of resources and then only these uh, five times tokens in case you have just too many of one. Um, yeah, so that is pretty cool. Yeah, nice. Um, and then we have even more tiles here. And these are, um, this is like what you put in front of you as a player. And then here around the, like in these little um, round circles here, you can put like the tentacles that you um, amass and you have like eight, all eight of them. Then you put like the Cosmo Octopus head right here in the middle. It's like a really cool touch. I really like that, yeah. Okay, very, very cool. Okay, and that is almost it. But let me show you this here. 
because this is like um, a, a small graphic novel for the game. I don't want to spoil it too much, but I want to show you something. What do you see on this page here in the in the left? Well, if you look very closely here, you actually see that I'm part of the game. There are like some um, there are some references to like other corner creators, I think, and I'm in there as well. You see like the two cards here, like pretty much like um, my channel logo, right? With the S and the T. Really, really cool. Take a look at that when you actually have the game in your possession. Really, really cool. Yeah. And oh yeah, well, I know that. I know that plushie here as well. Very, very cool. That's a real life plushie actually that I know. Very, very cool. So yeah, I don't want to spoil anything here. Just wanted to show you uh, that because that is pretty cool. Um, all right, let me put these here. I will have to find a way to organize all of that. I don't know yet how I will do that. I'll have to find a way to somehow do it. Yeah, let's see how I will organize it. I think that's gonna take a little while to find a good, um, a something that I like, a good idea. Okay, very cool, um, but we're not quite done yet. We still have two things. First of all, we have a little pin here. So let us open that up. Can I just open it like this? I hope so. Um, oh, here, we can actually open it here. Um, because that will definitely go on either my small travel bag or my game master bag. So let's take a look at this here. So you see here, very, very cool, like the little Cosmoctopus pin. That is really cool. So I'll definitely pin that either to my traveling bag, as I said, or to my game master bag, my role playing bag. I'm not quite sure yet, but I think I will put it to my, um, pin it to my travel bag actually. Um, and then last but not least, we have the plush. <laughs> I usually don't really want plushes when I like bag a project or something like that, um, because I have enough plushes at home actually, to be honest. Um, oh, actually there's something to open it here. But, well, you know, it's the Cosmoctopus plush, so I really want that. I don't know where I will put it yet, but that's really cool. Oh, look at this. Look at the legs. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, that's that's adorable. Look at this. It really says here, Cosmoctopus plushie, Paper for it Games. Okay, cool. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, sorry, just had a smell. Um, it actually doesn't feel uh, smell too bad either. Um, oh, that's, that's kind of funny, yeah? <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, but that is really cool. That one, that looks amazing. Isn't that great? <laughs> I don't know where to put it yet, but that is really, really cool. Very, very cute, yeah. They actually um, <laughs> they actually showed in the Kickstarter updates, they showed a few, and maybe even on social media, they showed a plushie where like, one of the eyes was the wrong way, right? And I was kind of hoping I would get one of those <laughs> because I think a lot of people would like say, hey, I want a real one and not that, uh, that broken one. But I would have liked that weird one, to be honest. <laughs> but this one is really cute. So really looking forward to, I don't know, finding a place to put it. Maybe I'll just keep it here um, in the... Maybe I'll just keep it here in my office, where I'll also keep Sparky. You might remember Sparky from some of my very first YouTube videos here. Um, so now these two can maybe hang out here together. That would be great. All right, well, um, that concludes my unboxing of Cosmoctopus. And well, I really hope you enjoyed the small look at like the components and the small box here. Um, I will definitely post a uh, seeing a solo playthrough at some point can't promise when there will be because i still have like a lot of reviews to film then i have the spiel then i will have my top lists so i don't think i will be able to do that before november but i hope i will be able to put out um, a solo playthrough this year so yeah so thank you very much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video as usual, I want to thank all of you for your support, especially my patrons who are very generous by supporting me on Patreon. The biggest shout out goes out to Thakono, who is the most generous supporter at the highest tier. Thank you very much for that. You can also support me on Patreon if you want to. In general, I'm happy for any kind of support, including likes, comments, and subscriptions. You can also join my Discord server in case you would like to hang out with me and my amazing community. All right, I'll see you very soon, either on the next video or on my Discord server. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and... All hail the great Inky One and cheers.